continuing with our lecture series on oxidation reactions in this lecture we will discuss the details of ozonolysis ozonolysis is achieved using ozone as the oxidant uh, for different types of organic reactions and uh, ozone is basically a triatomic oxygen uh, which possesses a pale blue color and has a characteristic smell and this ozone is highly reactive and slightly soluble in water but uh, soluble in uh, most of the non polar organic solvents like uh, carbon tetrachloride uh, this is most commonly used for these transformations and this ozone can be prepared from oxygen uh, through two electrode connection with the ac current uh, this will convert oxygen into ozone then uh, the application of ozone in uh, uh, oxidation of different types of organic compounds uh, the most common reaction uh, is ozonolysis where uh, alkenes on reaction with ozone uh, they are converted into different types of products like alcohols aldehydes ketones carboxylic acids uh, depending upon that what kind of uh, reaction conditions uh, they are used for work up of these reactions and this uh, degradation of alkenes uh, in presence of ozone is called as ozonolysis and uh, this reaction is performed mostly uh, in common solvents like dichloromethane methanol and acetone at low temperature of the order of minus 78 degrees centigrade so for example when uh, cyclohexene uh, is reacted with ozone uh, in presence of dichloromethane as solvent at minus 78 degrees centigrade this will be first converted by addition of o3 across this uh, carbon carbon double bond to give us this type of ozonide then this ozonide can give us different types of products like alcohols aldehydes or carboxylic acid depending upon that uh, this ozonide is uh, reacted with which type of reagent if we uh, react this ozonide with sodium borohydride then reduction of this ozonide will take place to give us these types of alcohols as the well. similarly if this is reacted with dimethyl sulfide as the reducing agent then aldehydes they are formed as the product whereas if hydrogen peroxide is used as the uh, oxidant for this ozonide then carboxylic acid they will be formed as the well. now uh, writing the product in this substrate is very easy uh, only thing is uh, these conditions plus these conditions you know that sodium borohydride will give us alcohols dimethyl sulfide will give us aldehydes hydrogen peroxide will give us carboxylic acid so break this bond put a carbonyl at both the ends and write down the carboxylic acid if this is present and if this is present break this bond add hydroxyl group at both the ends you will get the if this is used break this bond keto plus hydrogen aldehyde as the so this is how uh, it's very easy uh, without going into the mechanism to write down the products of ozonolysis so these are some of the examples of ozonolysis uh, uh, this type of uh, carbon carbon double bond and this carbon carbon double bond which is attached to an ester group uh, this will selectively oxidize this carbon carbon double bond so breaking of this bond will lead to the formation of aldehyde under zinc and acetic acid and an other molecule of acetone will be formed then in this type of uh, molecule this carbon carbon uh, double bond will undergo uh, breaking of this bond and we know with dimethyl sulfide 
aldehyde group will be formed as the product and when this will break this part will get aldehyde and because here methyl group is attached this part will become a ketone so this is a ketone this is an aldehyde which is formed from the ozonolysis of this type of reactant then uh, this type of alpha beta unsaturated ketone breaking of this carbon carbon double bond will create a keto group at this place this is the keto and this part will give us carboxylic acid because hydrogen peroxide is being used so one is carboxylic acid other is keto group which is formed here in this reaction then uh, nitro groups uh, which are having alpha hydrogens present they can be converted into uh, carbonyl compounds uh, when they are uh, they undergo ozonolysis so when uh, this uh, nitro compound is reacted with uh, sodium methoxide in methanol this type of uh, uh, carbon nitrogen double bonded compound is formed and this on ozonolysis will undergo uh, breaking of this bond at this place and we will get benzaldehyde as the product similarly alenes uh, they will form uh, here the breaking of carbon carbon double bond at two places will take so from here breaking of this bond will give us carbonyl compound breaking of this bond will give us another carbonyl compound and then a molecule of carbon monoxide will be so this is how we will get the different types of ozonolysis products in this case then uh, mechanism of this uh, ozonolysis is that uh, ozone will add to the carbon carbon double bond and this is an example of 13 dipolar cycloaddition and we will get ozonide as uh, the intermediate and this ozonide then will undergo breaking of this carbon carbon double bond and removal of uh, this uh, hydroperoxide and we will get carbonyl compounds as the and uh, this is equivalent to this then uh, this will again add to the carbon carbon double bond and this type of ozonide this ozonide will be converted into this type of ozonide and this on uh, reductive or oxidative workup will lead to the formation of different types of carbon then uh, another is uh, grisbom cross ozonolysis here o alkyl ketones uh, o alkyl ketone enzymes so this is a substituted enzyme uh, in case of uh, adamantane uh, enzyme when this is reacted with cyclohexanone uh, this on ozonolysis will give us this type of ozonide as the product and this uh, is called as cross uh, ozonolysis as the uh, react so these are uh, the various references which have been used for preparing this lecture thank you very much